Uh, morning, Grim. How's it going? I'm not feeling too good. I'm feeling super tired today. I can't even go to grab my daily cup of coffee. Come closer, coffee. Come closer. <laughs> Finally, I had my coffee. I'm feeling excellent. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to today. I want to do everything. I want to do everything right now. It's going to feel fantastic. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today Treoris and I are going to be attempting a challenge which is called the Beverage Stand Challenge. So thanks to today's mod, we're going to be able to craft and create both tea and coffee right inside our Minecraft world. So I thought it'd be really cool if we both had equal resources to create the best tea and coffee we could and then we'd see who could sell the most to our kind villager friends. Now let's have a quick peek outside and have a look at the place where we're going to be selling our stuff. We've got two stands, we've got one each. And Treras, how you doing, buddy? How's it going? His is looking very nice. I like the use of the new 1.7 woods, my friend. Very nice, Acacia woods. And um, it looks like he's been very, very busy indeed. So how are you doing? That's good. So let's have a quick peek around here. Looking very nice. Let's get a few tips and stuff. We've got, oh, Dr. Treras' coffee and tea hub. Tea, $6. <laughs> coffee, $10. Well, those are, those are some good prices, Treras. Very good. And wow, between me and you, those prices are awful. He's never going to sell any of those. $10 for a coffee? That is ridiculous. So this is our stand over here. And in this left chest, we'll be able to put all of our ingredients and stuff. And in the right chest, we've got a reminder of the recipes. So the first one, we've got recipes. Tea is leaves and water. And then coffee is beans and water. So let's go back inside the lab. And in the testing chamber, we've got two two farms set up but we've got equal resources each side so we're going to be able to create um some tea and coffee and wow treoris's farm is looking amazing look at this treoris's garden there's so many bushes and stuff they're almost all fully grown and everything and ours isn't looking too great so i guess we better get to it so this is my garden right here and in this chest is all we're going to need to craft this so the first thing we're going to have to look at is the coffee beans and also the tea seeds and we've also got an equal amount of bone mill to kind of speed up the process process as well because we want to get these sold before it gets dark so the way you get coffee beans and tea seeds is just by punching grass all you need to do is punch normal grass and you can get a chance of getting either these seeds or these ones so let's put down some coffee beans right here let's put nine here actually let's put 10 there and then put 10 here as well so we've got an equal amount of each here we go let's keep on putting these up and we're gonna grab some bone mills so they start to grow quite quickly as well and the coffee bushes end up having this red stuff on them right here and when they're bright red they are ready to go so this is dark red this is bright and the tea bushes right here get to their biggest about this size in their darkest green state so that's when you can start harvesting them but let's grab some bone mill and start bone milling these bad boys. Here we go. That's a fully grown one. That's a fully grown one. We might need some more bone mill over here. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to get enough tea and coffee. We need eight for at least one cup. So let's um, grow as much as possible. Can we, can we grow enough? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Here we go. There's some tea bushes. I think we've got all the tea bushes ready, apart from one. Here we go. There's all the tea bushes we need. And we also need some more coffee bushes. But they're taking their time. They really are. So let's grab some of these. And all we need to do is... Wow. Um, I, I didn't mean to punch it that hard. But um, you need to grab these, which are... Where did they go? Where did they go? Here we go. We've got 10 tea leaves and 2 tea seeds. So let's keep punching these. And we should have enough to make loads of tea so let's just see how much we end up with we've got nine tea leaves and they they kind of stack in 36 rather than 64 which is odd but um anyway it doesn't really matter we've got 36 plus nine tea leaves and let's harvest these see if we get um enough coffee beans to be able to make this let's punch these up and we've got 16 so we do have enough to make some coffee so what we're also going to need are some cups and also a pestle and mortar as well so let's grab this clay and there should be a crafting table around here somewhere i think there's one over in the um over in the stand so we'll go and do that in a second and also need to grab this stone and iron ingot as well So let's go over to our stand and start creating and also pricing up our tea and coffee before all the customers come So let's just walk along this beautiful yellow and red carpet move over here And Treoris is just sitting waiting for his customers. I hope his I hope his tea doesn't get cold I mean, that's gonna be awful if he's selling cold tea and coffee for 10 
big dollars. So what we're going to need to make is some cups. And the way you do that is you just add um, clay in a V shape just like this. Kind of like a bucket. So let's make eight cups for now. Wow, apparently they don't stack as well. And also you need a mortar and pestle. So let's do this coffee first. And the first thing we're going to need, I think is to cook these coffee beans. So we're gonna put half in here, and we're also gonna put half in here, and then we're gonna need eight beans in total, and then we're gonna need to grind them down with this mortar and pestle, and then we'll be ready to go. So in the meantime, we can grab some water, and we're gonna need water in every one of these cups. So um, let's just grab this empty cup, and we should be able to fill it with water. There we go. And keep on right-clicking on the water. You should be able to fill them all up. Currently, you don't need to boil the water, which is good for us, because we, we don't have the, the time to boil eight cups of water. But when you've got the water, you can then start making your tea and coffee. Now, I believe to make tea, all you need are the tea leaves all the way around the outside, and you can instantly make a full cup of tea. So let's see how many we can make with the leaves that we've been provided. We've got two cups of tea. We should probably make um, try and make four of each so we can display them around the edge. So there's our third cup of tea. And let's make four cups of tea and then see how many we can make of the coffees. Let's just put these over here, over here. And I think this is looking good. So while these are cooking, they're almost done, almost all done. We are going to be able to display these. So all you need to do is right click on our block, but for some reason it's not working. Is it only working on certain blocks? Why do you not work tea? Let's see if the coffee works because we should be able to grind those up in a second and then we'll just set up the stand later on and I'll show you how you can drink these. So let's grab these roasted coffee beans and these roasted coffee beans and then we need to put a mortar and pestle in the middle and then the beans on top to make coffee grounds. So if we just grind all of these up and you have a, like a certain amount of durability on the mortar and pestle which is really good so you don't have to keep on crafting them over and over and now we should be able to make coffee. So let's put them all the way around the outside Side, and let's see how many we can make. We've got two cups of coffee. I think we're only going to make two cups of coffee. And then um, how many cups of tea have we got now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. So five teas and two coffees. Let's see if we can sell these bad boys. So I'm just going to quickly set up the stool. What should we call it? Let's go um, Dan TDM's T and uh, that's a percent sign. That's an up sign. We need and coffee. Let's spell it correctly. Let's go Emporium because that sounds posh and I think people will come and buy from here. And now we need to set our prices. So Trioris has gone for $6 and $10, which I think is absolutely outrageous and it's going to be cold so let's go in dollars as well let's go for three for a coffee and let's do three for a tea as well because you don't really need to discriminate between tea and coffee they cost about the same to make and there we go i think we've got a good run on here so what we're going to do is pretty much set this up and i'll be back in a second Right then, so we are all completely set up now. We both have a similar setup, but um, I think mine are going to be warmer because I've only just kind of um, kind of cooked them. So basically, we've got all of our tea cups around here. We've got one coffee cup on the front here, and we're also going to try and taste what our tea and coffee tastes like because you can't be selling something that you haven't tasted yourself. So first up, the tea. You right click to drink it and then it will turn into a half tea cup. You have to place it on the ground first as we saw a moment ago. So you have to place them on the ground before you drink them. Unlike an apple and more like a cake. And we get regeneration two for eight minutes from one half of a tea cup which is very, very good indeed. And then if we drink the coffee cup with a simple right click, we then get speed two for eight minutes as well. So we we're super hyper and super regenerated and ready to sell this coffee and tea. So if we pick these up right now, go on break, there we go. And these will now be half cups, which you can save for later. So basically, let's wait and see how many sales we get. Let's the challenge commence. Right then, sir, will you just take one mug of coffee? Perfect. That'll be three dollars, please. And how is it going? What? Why is... I've got one, maybe two customers, and Treyos has all these guys. What is going on here? I'll be back in a second, sir. What's going on? Why are you selling so many? You're even selling to children. How is he even doing this? I need to investigate this further. He's got loads of customers. I've got my recipes in here. Hold on a second. There's an extra page here. We've got recipes. Tea equals leaves and hot water, which is exactly the same as mine. Wait a, wait a second. A secret ingredient. He's got a secret ingredient. Coffee, 
beans and water, plus a secret ing What's his secret ingredient, Traoris? He's, he's busy serving at the moment. There's got to be a secret ingredient somewhere. It must be in his farm. How is he even selling so many? I've only sold like two or three cups in the matter of about ten minutes. He's sold about ten. What's going on here? I've got mine in here, so this is all regular. And then in here he's... Wh what? Glowstone dust. He's selling cups of coffee with glowstone dust inside. No wonder it's so expensive. And... How am I supposed to compete with that? We've only got a couple of hours left of the challenge. You know what? He's a cheater. He's an absolute cheater. Even though he's selling more, I don't want to win by cheating. So I'm just going to sit behind my, my little stool here. Sell to this beautiful gentleman. Oh, okay, he's gone. I was going to say sell to this beautiful gentleman over here. But now even he's run off. And I'm going to try and win this legitimately. Let's see how that goes. Thank you for your custom, sir. Three, two, one. Blow the whistle. That's it. The time is up. Thank you for buying the coffee right at the last minute. Hopefully, that just tips the win into my favor. Traoris, do not sell any more coffee. It looks like all your customers are gone. Where did all your popularity go, buddy? Huh? And it looks, actually, it looks like, oh, his, all of his cups are empty. Did you drink these all yourself? Surely no one paid the high prices that you're charging. I'm charging less than a third on some of these. And that's that I guess we just check how much money each of us has made. It's getting to nighttime and I'm kinda tired after selling all day. But here we go. Let's go into the chests and see who made the most money. First up, let's go for mine first. Um, because I think I did pretty well. I've got an empty cup here. A half cup. Someone only drank half their coffee. It's a bit, bit offensive, guys. We've also got um, a full cup over here and an empty. So I've only got two empty cups and one half cup. So not the best, but maybe I just made more. So I've got three $1 bills and two $5 bills. That makes 10 That makes $13 in total. I think that's a pretty good result. But the moment of truth, let's see how much Traoris made. We've got... What... Four five dollar notes and ten ten dollars. That makes that that's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a hundred and twenty dollars. Are you kidding me? You made a hundred and twenty dollars and I made how much did I make again? It was nowhere near that amount. I made thirteen. So you beat me by a hundred and seven dollars, if my maths is correct. Well, um, I am purely embarrassed, but I know you cheated. You added another piece to your recipe, so that's out of order. In my mind, you're disqualified. I'm sorry, buddy. So technically, I won, but I'm still very impressed, Ray. I was very impressed indeed. And that is pretty much it for the beverage stand challenge. Questionable behavior by Traoris, as always, but... I guess he did have a very, very good recipe for tea and coffee. So if you want to make tea and coffee just like me and Traoris in your own Minecraft world, then do go to the description and download the mod as well. And maybe you can challenge a friend to a tea selling contest too. So thank you for watching. And if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks again everyone for watching. Looks like Traoris has drank way too much coffee. Calm down down there buddy he's drunk way too much i knew you bought some yourself but anyway thank you so much for watching again guys and i will see you all next time good bye right <laughs> morning grim how's it going i'm not feeling too good i'm feeling super tired today I can't even go to grab my daily cup of coffee. Come closer, coffee. Come closer. Haha, <laughs> finally, I had my coffee. I'm feeling excellent. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready to today. I want to do everything. I want to do everything right now. It's going to feel fantastic.
Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today Treoris and I are going to be attempting a challenge which is called the Beverage Stand Challenge. So thanks to today's mod, we're going to be able to craft and create both tea and coffee right inside our Minecraft world. So I thought it'd be really cool if we both had equal resources to create the best tea and coffee we could and then we'd see who could sell the most to our kind villager friend. Now let's have a quick peek outside and have a look at the place where we're going to be selling our stuff. We've got two stands, we've got one each. And Treras, how you doing, buddy? How's it going? His is looking very nice. I like the use of the new 1.7 woods, my friend. Very nice acacia woods. And um, it looks like he's been very, very busy indeed. So how are you doing? That's good. So let's have a quick peek around here. Looking very nice. Let's get a few tips and stuff. We've got, oh, Dr. Treras' coffee and tea hub. Tea, six dollars. <laughs> coffee, ten dollars. Well, those are, those are some good prices, Treras. Very good. And wow, between me and you, those prices are awful. He's never going to sell any of those. $10 for a coffee? That is ridiculous. So this is our stand over here. And in this left chest, we'll be able to put all of our ingredients and stuff. And in the right chest, we've got a reminder of the recipes. So the first one, we've got recipes. Tea is leaves and water. And then coffee is beans and water. So let's go back inside the lab. And in the testing chamber, we've got two farms set up. But we've got equal resources each side. So we're going to be able to create... Um, some tea and coffee and wow Treoris's farm is looking amazing look at this Treoris's garden there's so many bushes and stuff they're almost all fully grown and everything and ours isn't looking too great so I guess we better get to it so this is my garden right here and in this chest is all we're going to need to craft this so the first thing we're gonna have to look at is the coffee beans and also the tea seeds and we've also got an equal amount of bone mill to kind of speed up the process as well because we want to get these sold before it gets dark so the way you get coffee beans and tea seeds is just by punching grass. All you need to do is punch normal grass and you can get a chance of getting either these seeds or these ones. So let's put down some coffee beans right here. Let's put nine here. Actually, let's put ten there and then put ten here as well. So we've got an equal amount of each. Here we go. Let's keep on putting these up. And we're going to grab some bone mills. So they start to grow quite quickly as well. And the coffee bushes end up having this red stuff on them right here. And when they're bright red, they are ready to go. So this is dark red. This is bright. And the tea bushes right here get to their biggest about this size in their darkest green state. So that's when you can start harvesting them. But let's grab some bone mill and start bone milling these bad boys. Here we go. That's a fully grown one. That's a fully grown one. We might need some more bone mill over here because otherwise we're not going to be able to get enough tea and coffee. We need eight for at least one cup. So let's um, grow as much as possible. Can we, can we grow enough? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Here we go. There's some tea bushes. I think we've got all the tea bushes ready, apart from one. Here we go. There's all the tea bushes we need. And we also need some more coffee bushes. But they're taking their time. They really are. So let's grab some of these. And all we need to do is... Wow. Um, I, I didn't mean to punch it that hard. But um, you need to grab these, which are... Where did they go? Where did they go? Here we go. We've got 10 tea leaves and 2 tea seeds. So let's keep punching these. And we should have enough to make loads of tea so let's just see how much we end up with we've got nine tea leaves and they they kind of stack in 36 rather than 64 which is odd but um anyway it doesn't really matter we've got 36 plus nine tea leaves and let's harvest these see if we get um enough coffee beans to be able to make this let's punch these up and we've got 16 so we do have enough to make some coffee so what we're also going to need are some cups and also a pestle and mortar as well so let's grab this clay and there should be a crafting table around here somewhere i think there's one over in the um over in the stand so we'll go and do that in a second and also need to grab this stone and iron ingot as well So let's go over to our stand and start creating and also pricing up our tea and coffee before all the customers come So let's just walk along this beautiful yellow and red carpet move over here And Treoris is just sitting waiting for his customers. I hope his I hope his tea doesn't get cold I mean, that's gonna be awful if he's selling cold tea and coffee for 10 big dollars so what we're gonna need to make is some cups and the way you do that is you just add um clay in a v shape just like this kind of like a bucket so let's make eight cups for now wow apparently they don't stack as well and also you need a mortar and a pestle so let's do this coffee first and the first thing we're gonna need i think 
is to cook these coffee beans. We're going to put half in here, and we're also going to put half in here, and then we're going to need eight beans in total, and then we're going to need to grind them down with this mortar and pestle, and then we'll be ready to go. So in the meantime, we can grab some water, and we're going to need water in every one of these cups. So um, let's just grab this empty cup, and we should be able to fill it with water. There we go. And keep on right-clicking on the water, and you should be able to fill them all up. Currently, you don't need to boil the water, which is good for us, because we, we don't have the, the time to boil eight 